father transmits the disease to all his daughters type of inheritance is the options are autosomal dominant autosomal recessive x linked dominant and s linked x linked recessive okay so uh, i'll be giving you some uh, identifier statements to identify the kind of uh, trait or to understand the pedigree and to solve the pedigree actually so for autosomal dominant i should give you one liner that means if both parents are diseased and any of offspring is normal then you have the autosomal dominant you just try to remember this i'll be showing it while we'll be discussing the explanation but yes now the autosomal recessive there is a statement for this that both parents are disease free are normal but any of offspring is diseased so in that case you consider that to be the autosomal recessive then we have the x linked dominant now in case of x linked dominant the father the father transmit disease to all the or most of the actually it is all the but sometime most of the daughters and in case of x linked recessive the uh, the mother transmits disease to all or most of the sons if you just remember all these statements carefully you will be able to solve the pedigree okay so i'll just give you an example here for example here the mother and father both are diseased but one of the offspring is normal that means it is autosomal dominant then here you can see this uh, the lady and the male seems to be normal but one of the offspring is diseased that means it is uh, it is going to be autosomal recessive then we have another method that is called as the x linked dominant where father is disease and this father transmits disease to all its daughters okay so here you see the father male transmit disease to all its daughters okay it's not female it has to be male uh, i would make it more clear like this male is diseased and that will be transmitting disease to all the female offsprings then we have the x linked recessive in that case uh, yes high incidence of affected sons will be seen high incidence of the affected sons will be seen and the x link the basically this is going to be the recessive one and generally the lady is either carrier or sometimes it looks normal also okay so when most of the sons are involved and mother seems to be carrier that time you call it as the x link recessive so uh, this is a small trick to understand and to try to solve the pedigree here okay so here if you see here the father transmits the disease to all his daughter so that is a case of x linked dominant trait right father transmit disease to all or most of the daughters actually it is going to be all in that case and in case of x linked recessive mother transmit disease to most of the sons so most of the sons when the offsprings are going to be uh, the male offsprings are going to be diseased so that can be considered as x linked recessive here so for here father is going to transmit the disease to the daughters that type of inheritance is called as the x linked dominant that is your third option in this question